I mean, he's, he's definitely uh, hard to guard, don't get me wrong, but it, uh, first of all, I, I love to challenge, and then second of all, like I said, I never played against him in an NBA match, so um, it's going to be fun. For the first time in his NBA career, Spurs' Jakob Pertl will have to play against DeMar DeRozan and not alongside him on Spurs game day. Once a member of the Silver and Black, guard DeMar DeRozan is back in town as a member of the Chicago Bulls. DeMar arrived in San Antonio as part of the Kawhi Leonard trade, and he spent three seasons with the Spurs before joining the Bulls during the offseason. DeMar leads the Bulls in points and assists per game this season, and last night he earned his fifth NBA All-Star nod, being named an Eastern Conference starter for the 2022 NBA All-Star game. Now in his 13th NBA season, DeMar says he's looking forward to seeing the Spurs and his former head coach, Greg Popovich. I mean, he challenged me um, beyond my imagination on and off the court um, to develop, to be a better individual. Um, but on the court, you know, he, he just brought a lot of a lot of things out of me that I didn't I didn't know was was in there at that point in my career. You know, and I got to give I got to give so much credit to him for that, because, you know, he took that stance the first day. I came to San Antonio and it did so much for me, uh, for me to be able to be the player I am now. Spurs will host the Bulls, second best in the East tonight at 730. The Clark Cougars girls basketball team is 26 and 2 this season, thanks in part to senior forward Aaliyah Robertson and senior point guard Haley Adams. This week, the school recognized the two for their McDonald's All-American nominations. Their teammates and coaching staff were all on hand to celebrate the two. The ceremony was supposed to be a surprise, but coach said some already knew about it. Still, that's OK. The two seniors were thrilled and honored. It means a lot. Uh, very, very thankful for all that they've done for me, and I continue. Oh, I hope that I can continue to make them proud and make the school recognized. It's always fun to get kind of accolades and everything, but um, the fun part is being with the team and then with, in the gym with the team every day. Um, and so this is just kind of like a cool thing that comes along with it. The leadership that they bring, uh, the talent that they bring, the chemistry they, that they bring, the expectation that they bring—it's unmatched. And so to get an opportunity to recognize these two, our team captains, um, who have led us this far, I think it's big, it's big for them, and it's necessary to celebrate them. On top of their awesome overall record, Clark is 12-0 in District 28-6A with four games to go. Tonight they have a big district showdown with Reagan. The Rattlers are 25-6 overall and 11-1 district with their only district loss coming to Clark 56-49 about a month ago. Definitely that matchup with Sammy Wagner is always a challenging one, but our girls are able to um, compete, definitely. It's going to be a tough one, like always. Um, they have really good players on that team, and just like learning how to like compete with them, play against them, and everything else, like just make them know that we are competition and we will show up and play. Clark and Reagan will play at 7 tonight at Littleton Gym, and I'll tell you, Reagan, Sammy Wagner leads that district wow. in scoring. She is tough. Yeah. And then Clark's got two great players yep. right there, so congratulations. So, yep. well, it's going to be a good matchup tonight. Good way to spend a Friday night, right? You know what's good on a Friday? What? Barbecue. Ooh. That's right. It is a foodie Friday on today's show, which yes. means we are bringing you new food faces you haven't seen yet on uh, SA Live. Indeed. And Jason Reeves, the owner of La Canaditos Food Truck, is here. And we're doing dogs, but not ordinary dogs. Not right? ordinary dogs, that's right. Okay. So, what we're doing here today is we're going to put a little bit of soya, cilantro, grilled onions. All the ketchup, all mustard. The mustard, ketchup, all that good yeah. stuff. Like a Mexican dog, Mexican yeah. Style. And then yes, we are going to make a dish. It is mom's recipe, but oh boy, it looks really good. Speaking of good, you know what else good this time of year? The barbecue. Rodeo. Yep. And that's where Jen is, ready to sink some teeth into some really good barbecue, right, Jen? That's right. It is the 25th annual San Antonio Stock Show and Rodeo Barbecue Cook-Off and Festival, but it's also the second largest in the world, and they're cooking up things from all over. They have 298 teams, including the two behind me from Canada and Mexico. There's four teams from there, and they're making things that are quite different. This is a smoked chocolate cheesecake and, of course, some gobble here, so I'm going to try that. I haven't got to taste it yet but it's amazing. Not your traditional stuff on the grill. We're gonna get a sample. We're gonna go meet one of the original teams here when we come back. Looks <laughs> meal fit for a king. How about cooking for a princess though? Yes. So Sarah Knight from Cookie Club and those little uh, what, chocolate bombs? Yeah, we've got some hot chocolate bombs and some of our best selling cookies. 
And you think those cookies are big? Wait till you see what she's got in store for Valentine's. And we're going to hear what it's like to cook for Cinderella. The Kerrville Folk Festival set to return for its 50th year this spring. The festival will rock the streets of Kerrville from May 26th to June 12th. The festival website says early bird discounts will be available until February 28th. Entertainment lineup has already been released. Organizers say if plans change because of COVID, ticket buyers will be fully refunded. Visit our website, ksed.com, for ticket information and the complete lineup. It is 56 degrees and sunny now. Breezy winds will be up into the upper 50s this afternoon. Cold tomorrow morning, but back in the 60s with sunny skies both Saturday and Sunday. We will have a small window for rain, maybe a few storms too, Monday morning. It's warm temperatures next week before a cold front takes us back down into the 40s Thursday of next week, guys. Thank you, Justin. This is why Fridays are so good. I didn't see anything but food on that show. Ah, I'm so hungry. And the barbecue. Ooh. SA Live starts right now. Coming up today on SA Live, we are taking you to a new shake shop and great flavors. Going to tell you what's in it and what's not. It may be time to redesign or redecorate your bathroom, but getting started can be tricky. Today we have help from a local designer who's helping you to renovate with ease. Today on SA Live, this place is a joke. Literally full of jokes. We're going to show you how you can enjoy a fun night out at Upstage Comedy Lounge. Celebrate San Antonio. Coming to you live from historic Market Square. This is SA Live. Ooh. Oh, hello oh. and happy Friday. National Croissant Day is this weekend on Sunday. So, of course, we have some fabulous croissants Our, from La Panaderia. Yes, they have some of the greatest baked goods that you have ever seen. And, oh, my goodness gracious. We Thank are you be for sending those. those over. They're the size of small <laughs> footballs there. <laughs> Yes, good afternoon. I'm Fiona Gorstiza. And I'm Mike Oster Hage. And, you know, there's always a lot happening on Fridays, including Happy Space Day. And that got us thinking if you could have like a little cool feature in your house or something, mm -hmm. you know, what would it be? Um, wow, any sort of cool feature in yeah. my home? Maybe like an infinity pool would be really neat. A pool in the backyard would be nice. Oh, wow. Wow. Yeah, that's nice. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, a pool would be nice. I'd uh, like well, you know, actually, that whole house would be nice. Can I just, I just want to upgrade to that. There we yeah. go. Thank. <laughs> um, oh, I would like one of those cutting boards, actually, around there. But what about, I'd like a, like a secret, <gasps> like a secret stairway. Oh, wait, I changed my mind again. Wouldn't that be, <laughs> wouldn't that be kind of cool to have a secret staircase? No, I'd love a nice You want a bookcase that, a that yes. <laughs> I'd like a okay. library. Yes. All right, they're done. Okay. It's like the movie The Jerk. It's time to wrap the, it up. Remember the one with the stuffed giraffe? It's time to it's wrap like... it up. Let us know <laughs> what one cool feature you would add to your dream home would be at SA Live KSAT on Facebook and Twitter. So we said it's our Foodie Friday, of course, where we bring you new food faces you haven't seen before on SA Live. And our first guests started their business as a way to help their parents pay the bills. And now they're helping people satisfy their guilty food pleasures. Yes. Yes. And Johnny Means, the owner of Los Conranditos Food Truck, is here to help us make some of their delicious various snacks. <laughs> All right. Yes. We saw your little brother earlier. Okay. Now. Yes. So we are. Cooking. we're seeing birria more and more in San Antonio. For folks who don't know, what exactly is it? All right, so birria comes from Jalisco. It is the shoulder cut of the beef. It's cooked in a stew for five or six hours, and by the time it's done, it's very tender. It falls apart and very, very delicious. Absolutely yummy, right? Okay, exactly. and so what are we making today? All right, so today you're making our birria, we call it sandwich. Mm -hmm. Sandwich. Simple, Love exactly. It. Okay. And then we make our queso birria tacos too. Okay. And then, just like Mike's doing over there, puts the bread down, puts the cheese on the side, let that melt and then you can also yeah and so your tacos kind of have an extra punch right mm -hmm. tell, tell folks why you dip it on the consomme okay. or the oil that way it gets a little crisp once it's on the grill and the cheese you put it on top once it's also on the grill okay and that's what i did with the bread too exactly. and because that's good. instead of putting butter on the bread like a you know grilled cheese or something like mm -hmm. that why not just kind of add another add layer of that great flavor from exactly. that exactly and that's mom's recipe right yes sir it's mom's mm -hmm. recipe it took her a quite a bit to nail it down and then she started teaching us too and <laughs> it's a little bit of a headache because you know how your mom is 
Yeah. She'll be on top of you. <laughs> totally. Are you not doing it right? Yeah. Do you get nervous when she raises the eyebrow kind of going? Oh, yeah. Mm. You know it. <laughs> exactly. Okay. You have to get it on point or else. Cheese on here? Mm -hmm. What's that? Cheese on the uh, tortilla? Exactly, yeah. Okay. Cheese on there. Mm -hmm. Both of them? Once it's melted, you take out the meat from the broth, chop it up a little bit. Okay. Okay. And so this is one of your kind of, you know, more popular items, right? Mm -hmm. Exactly. Okay. Is there anything else that's fairly popular? Um, we have our pizza. And oh. our What's on that? Our, on our pizza, we have the birra itself, the cheese, mm -hmm. onions, cilantro, grilled onions, chipotle mayo, sour cream. And then we also have our famous hot dogs that my brother just showed you how to make. Yeah, these things, that's no ordinary hot dog. Look at those babies when those are all dressed <laughs> up there with a little bit of bacon on them too. So right. the story behind your food truck is, I mean, just so, so inspiring. Just Appreciate wonderful. That. Why did you start it? Um, it started off as a way to help out my dad and my mom to pay the bills. Mm -hmm. My dad had lost his sight about a year ago. Um, we didn't know what to do. We were kind of stressing. Yeah. And instead of, I guess, working ourselves like a regular job we decided to invest our money into a food truck and do what we know best and people started liking it and thank god now we're here and we're here with you mike <laughs> <laughs> well, and, and again you've got mom's recipe which you you can't beat that right exactly, and, you can't. and it's just good it's that homemade style birria and oh oh my cheese is, is cooking right here so you put right. that you can put the the toast on top of the cheese so like this exactly okay and get that down in there put the spatula under the cheese mm -hmm. and then flip like, it now you got it, you got Give it. Give it one big it. flip. There you go. Ha yeah. ha, ooh, and it's crispy in there too. So, and then that goes on the cheese. Mm -hmm. Put this? that on the cheese. Okay. Oh, Put as much as you want. Looks good. Yeah, I got keep more going. coming. Keep going. Incoming, yeah. incoming. Keep going, okay. keep going, keep going. You also have uh, agua frescas, right? Exactly. We have our, our uh, customer's favorite is our horchata. Mm -hmm. They ask for that one quite a bit, but we only sell that one on Sunday. So we make an agua, a different agua every day. So Tuesdays we have like watermelon, mm -hmm. and then Friday, I mean Thursdays we have cucumber lime. So we switch it up. Nice. So something different to it. Now exactly. tell us where the name came from. Um, we wanted something that represents my brother and I. So <laughs> los carnalitos means little brothers. Uh, I love Aww. it. Okay. And what's next for you guys? Um, we hope to open up a restaurant down the road, but for now we're gonna jump onto like an outdoor kind of food park theme on the east side. Nice. Because they said that was kind of one of your, your dreams almost was exactly. you know, to have something like that. Something like that. They're on the east side. So, okay. All right. Uh, sandwich goes on the. You put this right here. I mean, that right there go. there. Perfect. Right. Okay. And look at that baby. Oh, yes, indeed. Can't wait to try that. <laughs> and you also have a special for um, case side viewers, too, right? Exactly. Um, so, if you see us on TV right now uh -huh. and drop by to the food truck and say you saw us, um, you get a free agua with every single one of your meals. Okay, and here's the other trick. Look at that tortilla that has been dipped in the mm -hmm. juice right there and it takes on that perfect little beautiful orange patina, if you will. And oh, heavens to Betsy. Let's see, get that baby up there. You got it, you got it, you got it, you got it. Okay. All right, now I'm tell folks how they can find you. Uh, you can find us on Instagram as Los Carnalitos. You can also find us on Facebook as Los Carnalitos Texas and shoot us a DM, ask us for our location, our hours, and we'll reply as soon as possible. All right, well, thank you so much for sharing Appreciate your story. You. Love it, don't forget, you can get an agua fresca for free from Los Carnalitos if you mention you saw them on SA Live. For more information, all you have to do is head to our website, salive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab, or you see that QR code at the bottom left of your screen, just hold your phone up and snap a picture of that. You did mom proud with that recipe. <laughs> Holy smokes, that's good. There's stuff on your face. I'm, I'm sure there is. <laughs> you know, that means it's good, though. That means it's good. See, if these scripts come in handy. If, you, if you're they wearing do. it, that means it's really good. So, all, right. all right, Friday, besides showing you great food, we are helping you tackle some weekend projects. And if you'd love to give your bathroom, you know, a fresh face, but you don't really know where to start, well, a local company has made design kits to help you kind of DIY renovate it with ease. Yeah, yeah. Jen Tobias Trusky tries them out in this week's Happy Space. Your bathroom, let's be honest, it's a place that everyone uses, so why not make it beautiful? Today I'm joined by designer Shauna Percival with Strawberry Creative Interiors, and you are helping to make homeowners' dreams come true with a beautiful 
room, a bathroom or powder room, and you're making it really easy. Tell me about these kits that you have. Yes, so we noticed throughout our client work that many of the homeowners that we worked with needed a simple solution for their bathrooms. Mm -hmm. They didn't need a full-fledged design, they didn't need to move plumbing, they just needed all of the materials and fixtures and finishes curated, ready to buy, ready to renovate. And so what we have done is we have created an easy way for homeowners to take all of these pieces and we have put them in a beautiful curated Very design nice. kit and we're helping them renovate with ease. Each of our kits comes with every single piece that you need for a bathroom renovation. From the floor tile, to the grout, to the vanity, to the mirror, to the sconces, to the light fixtures, to the paint on the walls. Everything you need for your contractor is on a curated shopping list. Nice. And we have multiple price points per item. Good to know. So <laughs> if you are looking to buy your faucets from Lowe's, we've got a Lowe's option for you. If you want to splurge and go big, we've got that too. So you can really take the shopping list and tailor it to your individual investment budget. Perfect. So that's step one. Mm -hmm. We take it a step further by putting together renderings as well as technical drawings for the standard American bathroom footprint. I'm sure you can relate to the bathroom that you walk into that's got the vanity, yes. then you've got the potty, yes. then you've got the tub and shower combo. Yes. Like we all have a bathroom like that in our right. house, right? So this kit collection and all of our collections are based on the footprint of your standard American bathroom. So as you mentioned, these different styles change every quarter, so let's talk about what we have here today. Okay, so we can start with our Moody kit. Now green is all the rage right now. We are seeing green trending in the design world, and so what we decided to do is create kind of a, a woodsy chic design, and so this is our Moody collection. So we have got these amazing plaid floors. We are going to pair them with a variegated green shower tile mm. for a real big contrast nice. mood moment. And then what about this one? So this is going to be our trend kit and we do name them. So this one's named Isla and Isla is inspired by that sun-kissed beach cottage. Mm. She's soft and earthy and we've got this beautiful again variegated blue tile for on the walls paired with white, some crisp white tile all throughout the bathroom. This kit, we have been inspired by a spa resort. Ooh. So kind of a mountainside spa. Mm -hmm. We've got pebble tile for on the floor. We've got some real interesting striped walls, but it's all neutral. It's all those very soothing taupes and grays and whites. And our accent of color will come in with greenery because everybody you know, greenery boosts the mood. I love that spa in your own home. <laughs> <laughs> and last but not least, this kit is our colorful kit and it is inspired by the East Coast. So the East Coast vibe is vibrant. It's got some deep blues. We have paired the white wall tile with a very interesting stripe. We love working with subway tile. Subway tile is timeless. And our goal with all of these kits is to create a timeless design that is not going to be trendy, not going to go out of fashion. So everything that you see is fairly neutral as the base mm -hmm. with some accents. Wonderful. I love how easy you make it. And confidence is key when you're dealing with the contractor. Very good points there, Shauna. Thank you for showing us your amazing kits here. For more information, where can people go to purchase these if they're interested? Yes, sourcedkits.com is where you can find all the latest collection. We also have uh, a newsletter that goes out that covers all the relevant topics on renovation. And even if you aren't renovating a bathroom and you're just thinking about it, we offer a ton of design advice, both on our Instagram channel and on our newsletter. So it's always worthwhile. I promise you'll learn something. That's our goal. Perfect, wonderful. And for more information, you can head over to salive.com where we've provided information on the sourced and Styleberry Creative Interiors. Sean, thank you so much. Thanks, Jen. All right, next Friday, we combine our Texas Trippin' series with the ultimate happy space segment in Wimberley. The Lazy Lavender offers five vacation homes that will leave you smiling. Our Jen Tobias Trusky takes us on a tour and chats with the owners and builder. Lavender, perfect place for Jen. So, hey, and all of your favorite happy space segments are now in one place. Just click on the happy space tab on the salive.com homepage. And we are officially one week from the first spin of the KSAT Insider Prize Wheel. Yep, sign up to be a KSAT Insider right now on ksat.com slash insider for your chance to win one of six prizes. It's happening every Friday starting next week. Good luck.
Still ahead on the show, she's baked at one of the finest bakeries in the world and even in Cinderella's castle. How a local baker is giving you everything you need to make a spectacular Valentine's treat. But first, Texans love their barbecue and there's cook-off to see who's the best. We are live at two-day competition. Any barbecue lover has to check out. That's next on SA Live. Well, it's a Friday, everybody, where we show you fun spots for a weekend adventure. And the party starts today with the 25th annual San Antonio Stock Show and Rodeo Barbecue Cook-Off. Nom, 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 nom. Oh, I know. <laughs> and everybody loves their barbecue. And Jen Tobias Trusky is out there right now with some of the world's most competitive barbecue teams. But this event is a whole lot more than just about great food, right, Jen? That is correct. 298 teams, and we're with one of the original teams uh, 25 years ago. They started this. Again, it's all about raising money, right, for the scholarship program for the San Antonio Stock Show and Rodeo over here. They're working on brisket and chicken and sausage. It just smells so good, and I'm so excited to be here. I love barbecue. Steven joins me now, the chairman here at the barbecue cook-off. What do we have here? Wow, uh, this I got is, your team back here, Yeah, too. this is full of bull. <laughs> this team's been with us since the beginning. It's our 25th year and uh, having teams like this support us the entire time has done a great deal to help us raise money for the scholarships. This is just some stuff they're cooking on Friday to eat, but they were gracious enough to pull it out so we can get a shot of it and take a look. Yes, beautiful. Now, the way it works here, because you were telling me earlier, the teams come together, they they cook, they have two uh, contests, two different ones that the judges judge. And so what's going on today? Today is our jackpot. So we have Bloody Mary's, desserts, ribeyes, the chef's choice meat and beans and those are those will be judged today and the awards will be tonight and then tomorrow is the the big three chicken ribs and brisket got it it smells so good by the way and earlier we showed you from, from the international teams so there's some different items too right it's not just the traditional barbecue right oh say, yeah the, the yeah. desserts come from all over and and there's a different take on everything some guys do really sweet ribs some do got dry ribs so the teams are working hard because it's today and tomorrow open to the public as far as the festival goes because there's live music. Um, people can come and enjoy themselves too. You want to tell me more about that? Yeah, the gates open at 10. We'll be open till midnight. It's uh, $15 a ticket. Uh, 12 and under is free and active duty military is free. And tonight we have um, Emilio and Diego Navarro and an Emilio tribute band oh, that'll nice. be playing and they're opening for David Lee Garza and Los Musicales. And then tomorrow we have Midnight River Choir opening for Shane Smith and the Saints. Wow, and so the team behind you, let's talk about them, because they've been here, what, 25 years? 25 years. Um, can you tell me more about? Uh, so they were just telling me they got started. The, we needed help with the electric the first year, and uh, the chairman at that time said, why don't you guys throw a team together? They threw a team together and won first place chicken three times in a row. What? What's the secret to good chicken? You can't tell me, right? You're not gonna... <laughs> you see how they laugh? They're not going to give that secret away. So yeah, we've got some chicken here and some sausage. Um, the, tomorrow they judge again, but let's talk about that. It's it's much more than just cooking, right? It's all to give back. It is. Uh, everything we raise here is to go to the San Antonio Livestock Show Scholarship Fund. Um, it's put on entirely by volunteers. There's 400 of us that put this thing on, and we have some great partnerships with companies that do come out and help provide for this and um, that's the goal is raise as much money as we can to help as many kids as we can. I love that. Can you tell me is there something that's been super unique to you that stood out that people have cooked here in past years that you've seen? Uh, or what's your favorite? <laughs> uh, brisket's always my favorite. Brisket, but yes. Some of the desserts get a little wild. There's mm -hmm. banana pudding and cheesecakes and all sorts of different things that you wouldn't think would come off a pit, but they come off and they're amazing. Got it. All right. And so for families to come out here, um, can you tell me what else there is to enjoy yeah. on the grounds? We're going to have over 100 vendors. There will be some food trucks. There are some teams that are open to the public. They'd love for you to come in and sample the food, and they'll have cash for kids buckets out, a little donation. It all goes straight to the kids. Um, we also have over 20 carnival rides. Oh, yes, can't forget about the carnival rides. Thank you so much, Stephen. Guys, thank yeah. you so much. All right, they're having a good time here. Again, it's all to benefit the scholarship program for the San Antonio Stock Show and Rodeo today and tomorrow. All the information is on salive.com. Back to you guys. Hey, still ahead on SA Live, want to start your weekend off right? The drink spot where you can get the fuel you need for your fun-filled adventures. And next. 
Selling your home doesn't need to be a stressful process. How a local company can get you cash for your home fast. It's straight ahead on SA Live. If you're looking to sell your home, there's a hassle-free solution. In just three steps, you could sell your home in as little as seven days. And here to tell us about the process is Jeremy Heath, CEO of Texas All Cash. Welcome, welcome. Great, thanks for having me. All right, so this is you know up there with one of the most stressful things that folks can do, moving, buying, selling the home, okay? So tell us about the steps and how it works. Yeah, it's really what we like to provide is a real simple solution. We have a three-step process, um, you basically, would call us if you want to get a, your house assessed because you're looking to sell. The second step is we'd come and assess it, and the third step is you'd collect your cash. So it's really simple. Bada and bing, bada boom, bada bam. Yep, too, too easy. <laughs> as we get too easy. But, but that's exactly what you're going for. So what kind of condition do the homes need to be in? Well, that's a great thing. Any condition. So we don't, you know, the messier the better in a lot of ways for us. But you know, we'll, we're happy with any type of situation. Um, we're used to coming in and cleaning houses, fixing houses. So really, the customer doesn't have to do anything other than and sell it and move their belongings and uh, you know then we've got a done deal. All right, so your family owned and operated. So how many home sellers have you helped here in the San Antonio area? Wow, we've been in business uh, coming up over 12 years and uh, over a thousand people we've helped in that time. Um, as you can tell from my Texas accent, you know, <laughs> <laughs> I still don't say y'all, but my wife is actually from San Antonio and uh, she's the one that, that got me here. So, and I love the place. <laughs> nice, nice, well, I love that. Okay, and your mission is to provide real estate solutions that positively impact folks' lives. Okay, so how do you go about doing that? Yeah, I guess, you know, for us it's about giving them a simple solution. So if we're not able to come in and help somebody with a situation where they're looking to get rid of their house, then we're not going to be able to make something work. So we really like by starting to understand what the specific needs are of the customer and then putting a solution together that's going to help them um, move on from that situation. And this time of year, I mean, folks are dealing with, a, you know, a lot of things like property taxes, right? Absolutely. At this time of the year, there's quite a few things going on. So property taxes are due. Um, so if you're having a problem with that, it may be a good time to sell. Um, even if you're sitting on a vacant house, we find a lot of people may have a vacant house that they inherited and they're actually paying taxes on it. So it's costing them money. So now might be a good time to actually get some money back instead of uh, spending money on it. Um, another thing that's happened recently with everything that happened with COVID is foreclosures are starting to tick up, we're seeing as well. So if anyone's in a situation where they've got a lot of back payments and they're kind of looking for different options, give us a call and we see what we can do. What are some of the common questions that you get? I think for most people, the ease of the transaction is the big thing. So they're looking for the simplest solution and they want to know that there's certainty around the offer that we've given them. So um, rather than having lots of showings and lots of people coming into the house, where a one shot type of deal will come in, we'll give you an offer. And then uh, if we agree that we've got the deal done. And what would be a couple of things like uh, some advice you would give folks about if they're you know selling their home? Yeah, one of the big things, and we see it a lot this time of the year, it's the New Year's resolution where people kind of come back from the holidays and they want to start getting things going. So I think if you have been sitting on a house or you're in a situation that you've had for a while, um, now's a really good time to deal with it, especially with uh, the taxes coming available. Um, so, you know, pick up the phone, give us a call, and it's really uh, not, that, not that difficult. We'll do everything we can to help you. All right, thank you so much for all that information. For more, just call Texas All Cash Home Buyers today. The number is 210-910-3000. That's 210-910-3000. Remember, three-step process, Bada bing, bada boom, bada bam, and it's done. So TexasAllCash.com. Also, for more, Jeremy, thank you so much. Thanks for having us. It's a place that has line dancing, karaoke, comedy, and a defensive driving class. So we're going to tell you where that is coming up. And next, this local baker has cooked in Cinderella's castle for real. She's going to show us how to make your Valentine feel like a princess or prince. It's easier than you think. Don't, don't miss it. Welcome back to SA Live. Well, our next guest studied at multiple culinary academies. Her bread was served at a three Michelin star restaurant and she's even cooked in Cinderella's castle. Bibbity bobbity boop, Sarah Knight, pastry <laughs> chef and owner of the Cookie Club is here to show us how you can make your Valentine feel like a prince or princess. Welcome, welcome. Thank you for having me. So right. this giant cookie yeah. is what we are making, right? Yes, our chocolate chip M&M cookie cake. All right. 
So in the what in have we got in mixer. here already? So in the mixer, we've got your butter, your brown sugar, and your white sugar, mm -hmm. and a healthy serving of vanilla. And all what right. you're adding here is the flour, baking soda, and salt. Should I put all this in? Yeah, go ahead. Okay, it okay. won't go all over the place? Nope, we'll start mixing it on low, okay. and it'll start to incorporate. Okay. And one reason that you use this is why? So a lot of people, when you make cookies at home, they spread too much, they're too thin, or they get really puffy. But when you put it in um, a tray like this, you have nothing to worry about. The cookie's not go going anywhere, and it's pretty hard to mess up. So everyone can do it at home. <laughs> I love that. And you said your secret is vanilla, vanilla, and more vanilla, right? Yes, I love vanilla. Um, I make my own vanilla, and I use a lot of it. <laughs> OK. All right, so when decorating, what what should you remember? Um, yeah, so you just you can decorate it however you'd like. You just squeeze from the bottom of the piping bag. Um, yep. You kind of pull so, up. baking bread for a Michelin star restaurant. Yes. You said that was kind of intense. Yeah, it was super fun. Um, so I worked at Bouchon Bakery, and they provide all of the bread for Thomas Keller's. Well, he owns Bouchon Bakery as well, mm -hmm. um, but they provide all the bread for his restaurants in Napa. Mm -hmm. um, and so we would do the bread for the French Laundry. Okay, and you said you would take the bread there every morning and little tiny Yeah, rolls. they make the little the little um, 50 gram rolls. And mm -hmm. uh, after the bake every morning, somebody would have to go over on a little trike and drive it down the street to the, um, the French Laundry and the chef over there would have to approve it before service, make sure it's the best of the best. And you, and you said it was a matter of taking it up to his ear and making sure it was crispy. Yep, had to have the perfect crunch. <laughs> <laughs> perfect wow. crunch. Wow. Okay. That looks was great. it easier or harder than cooking for Cinderella? Harder. <laughs> really? I would think so, yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so, literally, you were in the Cinderella's castle there, and this was an in, in internship or externship, if you will, at mm -hmm. uh, the Culinary Academy. Um, so, or Culinary Institute. Mm -hmm. well, so they didn't put a kitchen in the castle when they built it, right? No, so the kitchen was added after they built Cinderella's castle, so it was kind of a tight squeeze. Mm -hmm. um, and they just fit it in and made it work, and they had the princess appearances there, and actually in the middle of your shift, you'd have to stop what you were doing and just put everything aside so that uh, Cinderella, so that Tinkerbell could jump through the window and do the fireworks. So you're literally standing in Tinkerbell at, at night when they do the fireworks uh -huh. and she yep. flies it. Yep, she jumps out of the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> I think the first time that happened, did that kind of throw you for a loop? Yes, everyone just literally stopped what they were doing and the kitchen was so small you had to, you know, scoot over and let her jump. <laughs> okay, you, so just you, about half of that should be good for okay, one try. Okay. Okay. Don't jump! <laughs> okay. So tell us about the fabulous cookies over there. Um, so I brought some of our best-selling cookies. I've got the double chocolate chip. This one is a dirt cake cookie. Inside it has an Oreo with chocolate ganache. Um, and then this is just um, a white chocolate chip cookie with sprinkles and the little circus animal X's and O's. Okay, if people want to order for Valentine's, what is the latest they can do it? If guys forget, even though we've been warning them. <laughs> so Valentine's Day is on a Monday. I would say get your orders in by that Thursday, okay. the Thursday before. All right, and you make other desserts as well, right? I do, I do cookies, I do cakes, um, cocoa bombs. If you have a favorite, I probably know how to make it. Just let me know. Feel free to message me. <laughs> it is okay to eat raw cookie dough, right? Sure. <laughs> You'll find out later, Mike. Oh, no. The, the, chef, the chef says okay. so. Hey, so, okay. And the interesting thing, too, you said cooking at Disney mm -hmm. that, because um, you never see kitchen or you see, you know, supplies or anything like that. And you mm -hmm. said there's kitchens like off site almost that yeah, do a lot so of food. I want to say they have like, something like 50 miles worth of property there and they mm -hmm. actually have like I don't know if I'm allowed to say but they have like a factory on site so technically when they say everything's made on site it's made within you know 50 miles right. of <laughs> the building that you're in. But. I always wondered about that too. Yeah. So, okay sure. well if you'd like uh, more information and don't forget to mention you saw Sarah on SA Live you get 15 percent off your Valentine's order. All right. And for more information, go to cook, for on the Cookie Club. Sorry about that. Go to our website, SALive.com. Click on the Ask Seen on SA Live tab or that little QR code in the bottom left-hand side of your screen. Get your phone. Click on that. You did wonderful. Yeah, there you go. Sorry, I was finishing that. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Okay. Yay. See? If I can do it, y'all can do it. So, thank you. <laughs> it's a place that has line dancing, karaoke, comedy, and a defensive driving class. We're going to tell you where that is. 
is coming up. All right, what did the thirsty weatherman say to his intern? I need a thermos, stat. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. I think, I think for some real laughs, but, you know, you want to get those laughs from, from professionals. And here to tell us how, of course, is co-owner Bobby Smith of the Upstage Comedy Lounge. Hello, hello, hey. thank you for having me up here on stage and letting me tell that joke. Oh, that, that was excellent. <laughs> was it so bad it was good? Uh, <laughs> or was it just? It was so bad it was good. You're being so it, nice. It's about the person that tells it, so I thought you did a good job. <laughs> oh, well, thank you so much. All right, tell folks a little bit about this establishment. Uh, Upstage Comedy Lounge, uh, we opened up here Labor Day weekend. You know, we've been doing shows every weekend. Coming to the stage, give it up for Jeremy Jonas. We have kids. My son asked me the other day, he said, what happens when you die? I said, oh, son, our spirits are eternal. Said, no, dad, I don't care about that. I want to know when you die, who gets your stuff? <laughs> Y'all give it up for Miss Mary Bikay. Now, I don't want to freak you guys out, but I do want to share something with you. A little unusual, okay? I am missing a finger. See that? Guys, this affects my work. I'm an accountant. <laughs> This is a great kind of night out for couples, friends, right? Oh yeah, absolutely. Uh, birthday parties, uh, engagements, uh, divorce parties, anything is welcome. <laughs> Celebrate uh, it all, oh, yes. Yeah. And of course, there's a bar. Absolutely. <laughs> all right, what did the grape say when someone stepped on him? Nothing, just let out a little wine. Anyway, all right, I tell you, you know who could probably give you more laughs? Mila Hugo, because not only is she a comedian, she is the lead bartender here, and we are gonna be making a couple of drinks, right? Absolutely. All right, what are we making first? First, this is gonna be the petty. Okay. And so in it is gonna be vodka, and then the coconut rum, blue carousel, sweet and sour mix, some pineapple, and then Sprite. And cheers. Okay, that's one, hold on. Maybe I'll get funnier. <laughs> All right, for the second drink, what is this one called? And tell me what to do. This one is the Heckler, and it's okay. just me a bourbon, um, right. and then peach schnapps and Sprite. I feel like I'm hogging all the drinks. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody will get funnier. <laughs> So besides the shows, um, there are other, you know, kind of fun events that you have here, including an open mic night, right? Yes, we do open mics on Mondays. We actually do a workshop before the open mic. So, you know, if, if anybody's brand new, they can come to the workshop and, you know, if they're feeling, you know, not too confident about getting on stage, we kind of help them with their jokes. What else do you guys have here? Uh, we do line dancing classes every really? Saturday. Really? Yeah. That every, every which day? Every Saturday. Okay. Uh, we also do defensive driving classes. Hold up, wait, wait, wait. I did not expect you to say that. Wait, a uh, defensive diving class? Tell me a little more about that. Well, that kind of comes from my background uh -huh. because as a comedian, uh, something that helped me get better with stand-up was teaching these defensive driving classes. A bunch of, you know, people that not too happy they got tickets and, you know, they come to a class and, you know, my challenge is to make them laugh. So I just kind of brought that along to the comedy club and uh, you can get your tickets dismissed, your traffic tickets or insurance discount. Mm. <sighs> these drinks are no joke. But for some great jokes and better laughs, just head to Upstage Comedy Lounge. They have shows Thursday through Saturdays. And for more information, all you gotta do is head to our website, salive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. Thank you very much. Don't worry, I won't be here all week. All right, next on SA Live, they're delicious, healthy drinks with zero sugar added, where you can get this boost to, fu to fuel your busy days. We take you there straight ahead. You're gonna start with the joke, right? Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> My career. <laughs> okay. Welcome back to SA Live. Well, you're hearing it more and more often. Healthy food doesn't have to mean bland food. Yeah, and the folks over there at Earth Juice have a new place called Earth Shakes, and we found out how they're making it easier for people to eat healthier and of course, enjoy it. Earth 
shakes started from our sister juice shop, Earth Juice Bar. Earth Juice Bar has been around for almost nine years now, and we figured it was about time to open a sister shop, which is now Earth Shakes. What sets it apart is that we are a locally owned business. We also buy from local producers as well, rather than the large chains that buy from major food production, fruit production chains. So we keep it local and we are local. I would say two of our most popular items would be our Green Latifah as well as our Coco Chimp. Our Green Latifah is more of a fresh, greener taste. It has the supplement spirulina in it, which is great for boosting vitamin efficiency. It has kale in it as well, so it's a great refresher, especially in the morning instead of rather turning to caffeine. It wakes you up and does the trick. This is our Coco Chimp here, which is more of a sweeter smoothie that we have. It is peanut butter, chocolate, and bananas as well. So before Earth Shakes, we have another store located in Almost Park called Earth Juice Bar. There we do juices, smoothies, and acai bowls. However, at this shop, we only do smoothies and acai bowls. Um, it's just a quicker and easier way to get proteins and nutrients that you need throughout the day. And it's just a quick shop through our drive-through and it's quick and easy and gives you the nutrients that you need throughout the day. This week, it is a buy one, get one free. Also 10% off each purchase, so come on by. Some supplements that we add is collagen, which is great for boosting hair and nail growth. We also have a bunch of proteins. We have whey protein, we have peanut butter protein, we have rice protein. Pretty much any protein is used for whatever shake you would like. Um, it's great for boosting vitamins, nutrients, and so forth. Our shakes can help people stay healthy because it gives you the nutrients and the vitamins that you need throughout the day. Rather than having to wake up and worry about taking supplements or things like that sort, our smoothies are a great alternative to get everything that you need. We give discounts to veterans, students, and first responders. Here you go, enjoy. You. You're welcome, bye. Hey, Monday on SA Live, the countdown to the rodeo and Western Heritage Weekend begins. We get a visit from a blast from the past. Old fashioned carriages visit Market Square and we find out about the latest big screen adventures. Plus, spread the love with tacos. We get a taste of the sweet and savory Valentine Streets from a local restaurant. That and more Monday at 1 on SA Live. All right, we asked you to name one cool feature you'd add to your dream home, and Kelly says an outdoor fireplace Ooh. with waterfalls built into a swimming pool. Nice. I can picture that now. A slide from the second floor to the first. Um, <laughs> oh, Nicole's like fun. That. I like Nicole. There we go. Okay, Veronica says an oasis patio with an outdoor kitchen and rock fireplace. So peaceful. I love these. Isn't that? Indoor heated pool. Ooh, with waterfall and a hot tub. Yes, there you Suzanne. go. There you go. Crystal says a giant secret library yes. room. Yes, Crystal. I totally want that too. Me too. A <laughs> pellet ice maker. Mm. Albert says an indoor movie room. Totally. That would be off the hidden library. Absolutely. Yep. Hey, mm -hmm. don't forget, Saturday, February 5th, week from tomorrow, it is the Western Heritage Parade and Cattle Drive. Fiona and I are going to be there with cowboy hats on, and <laughs> it may be chilly, but boy, we're going to have fun. All the cattle walking down Houston Street right there. All right, we'll see you tomorrow at 1. Thanks for no, watching. No, Monday. Oh, Monday. Yes. It's the weekend. Yes. Don't scare me. I didn't think I was tomorrow.